The line between scientific genius and obsessive fanaticism is a thin one. I'm Tim Tacklebox Beat here with Lucy, the Luramatic computer, who is clearly a scientific genius. Thanks, Tim. I guess that makes you the obsessive fanatic. You got that right. But Lucy, together we're either scientific fanatics or maybe we're obsessive geniuses. Excellent point. We have a five-minute tackle innovation to share, a fishing product that really works so you don't have to make the mistake of buying something that fails on the water. We make the mistakes for you. Or at least Tim does. We look at about 50 products for every one that we find worthy of listeners. So what do we have to share today, Tim? Lucy, today we're looking at beat jigs. Beat? Like in Tim, tackle box beat? Nope. Beat is spelled B-E-E-T. And it stands for Big Eye Easy Tie. They're not talking about the painted eye in the jig, but rather the eye to which you tie your line. Their jig eyes are 40% larger than standard jigs, so the jigs are easier to tie for people with sight issues or dexterity issues, or even cold hands. Are those problems common? Absolutely. For example, if you're fishing at dawn and have poor light, it can be a bear to tie on a new jig. What does a bear have to do with a jig? It's just an expression, Lucy. To be a bear is to be difficult. If it means something difficult, I'd say it can be a human to tie on a new jig. A human? Yes. I can understand everything except humans. Very difficult species. You are always acting irrationally, especially when you get around new fishing tackle. Good point. But let's get back to the beat jigs. My favorite knot to tie in a jig is the Palomar knot. It requires you to fold over your line and push the folded part through the lure eye. With a small jig, I can just never do it. So I have to put the end of the line through the eye and then feed it back through the opposite way to accomplish it. With these jigs, though, I have no trouble tying a Palomar knot the correct way. I like the size choices too. Their painted jig heads come in 1 8 ounce and 1 16 ounce, and their unpainted jig heads come in 1 8, 1 16 and 1 32 ounce sizes. The only downside to these jigs is they're made of lead, and I really prefer non lead options. Lead free is the way to be. Very true. But I love the innovative idea of larger eyes to help more people fish, and I give that innovation four out of five golden tackle boxes. Lucy, tell the listeners where they can learn more about Beat Jigs. Beat Jigs is located in Union, Missouri. They have a Facebook page and also a website where you can buy their jigs. The website is beatjigs.square.site. They sell 10, 25, and 100 packs of their jigs. Thanks, Lucy. Now off to search for more fishing tackle innovations. (laughs) 